Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be going over my summer pickups. This time around I focus more on acquiring pieces that would be catered towards the weather while also being timeless. But I will admit I got a few pieces that were a bit on the trendier side which we will get in a bit. If you guys are new, do all the usual YouTube shenanigans and let's get right into the video. Starting off the pickups, we have this navy New York Yankees cap from the brand ALD. I think that headwear is a great way to elevate an outfit while still staying subtle. It provides something that I guess wouldn't usually be there visually. This hat while basic has a hit of the ALD branding in cursive on the right side of the cap which I think is a really nice touch. And so far I've actually gotten a lot of compliments on this hat when wearing it to school out and about. I just throw it onto any outfit that I feel like is missing something because it's just that versatile. Pickup number two is something that I think encapsulates what I'm going more for in my fashion and style. It's this blue striped shirt from MF Pen. What drew me to this shirt is MF Pen's meticulous detail when it comes to silhouette and fit. I know a button up shirt is like something that can easily come across as too formal, but I think that MF Pen has done a great job of making a kind of more baggy and flowy garment that makes it a lot more casual. They just gave the garment a lot more volume and it just makes it a lot less like you clocked out of your nine to five job and more just like you're casually wearing it out, you know? I'm really happy I got this in a size small because I think that the piece just looks absolutely perfect on me. And I think it just fits the exact way that MF Pen intended it to. Coming in at number three, we have this beige shirt from Rude. It has a hit of the Rude Moonlight graphic on the front and on the back. Usually I don't, I'm not really one to go for graphics, but I think that the graphic on this tee in particular is such a nice flex. Sorry guys, my microphone actually glitched at this point of the video, hence the voiceover. But I was saying the color blocking of the beige and maroon work together seamlessly and I just think it gives off the summer casual look that I was going for with a tee like this. It was the only item I picked up in New York and I can't wait to wear it even more this summer. And closing off the shirts category of this pickups, we I'm actually wearing it right now. It's this uh, black fitted shirt from Cost. I know it's really boring, but I truly do believe that having nice basics is a staple in every, anyone's wardrobe. What I find really appealing about this shirt is number one, I think that the neckline is really nice. Number two, I just think that the quality of the fabric is amazing. And number three, I think that the fit of this is excellent. It gives it that really perfect fitted look that it's trying to go for. And what I mean by that, just to go more into it, is that it doesn't look like I'm wearing like a compression tee from like the gym, but it also doesn't look like I'm wearing something super baggy or something that doesn't fit me because that could come across as sloppy, you know? All right, moving on to pants. And these are the only pair of pants on this pickups video. It's these beautiful black straight leg trousers from Ami Paris. These pants have this pleat that spans across the whole length of the leg. And I think that what really drew me to this pant in particular is the composition of the fabric. It features a wool blend that makes it warm during the colder days, but actually is surprisingly breathable during the hotter days, so you know, you don't overheat. I got this in a size medium on Farfetch, and what was great, I, and I wish this was sponsored, but it's not, is that it was actually 50% off. Just keep in mind though, when, when I got these trousers, and maybe I was the one that messed up the measurement, but when they came in, I just thought that the leg was way too long. So I actually took these to a tailor, and now the cuff sits right above the leg, which is exactly how I like it. The next pickups aren't particularly fashion related, but I thought I'd just mention them because it's something that I'm pretty passionate about, and it's these ASRV line shorts and the sleeveless shirt. I started going to the gym regularly about a year ago and I think that having nice gym clothing is just a really nice way to, I guess, motivate yourself in a way and also a way to eliminate distractions and just focus on your lift. Of course, there's other brands like Gymshark, Alpha Lee, etc. But I think that ASRV just has very premium fabrics and I think I just, I just feel really good in them. I mean, if that, that's all I really want in my gym clothes and I think that these are perfect. If I had to pick between the two, I would say that the lined shorts is the way to go. I think that these shorts have really changed my like perspective on lined shorts in the gym. And 
I don't know if I can go back to just like regular shorts. Like these are so comfortable. <laughs> Coming in at number seven of the pickups, we have these beautiful New Balance 990 V2s in the cream and white colorway. These were originally only released on the ALD website, but I think that now they should have already dropped on the New Balance website. But the funny thing about this shoe is that it's not considered an ALD collab. At this point, you, you guys probably think I'm a pretentious ALD hipster and I, in, in fact, I would probably say I wish I was, but <laughs> I seriously just think that Teddy Santos has amazing taste and an eye for whatever he creates. And I think that this shoe is just another example of his craft. The white and cream on this shoe accent absolutely perfectly and they look even better in person. Quality is absolutely amazing. Uh, New Balance always kills it with the leather. I think that the mesh on this particular 990 V2 and I've never owned a 990 V2 before so I don't really have a comparison but I think that the mesh on this shoe is absolutely perfect and I always know that New Balance is going to hit it on the mark for quality control. I find these so easy to wear. I can dress them up with trousers. I can dress them down with shorts, jeans, whatever. It works with everything. Last pickup it actually isn't anything fashion related, but something that I th still think is really important when it comes to fashion or just, I guess, looking put together. It's this uh, fragrance by Prada. It's called uh, Prada Lunarosa Ocean. I could sit here and talk to you guys about how amazing or like what type of notes this smells like, but I'm not really a fragrance YouTuber. So if you guys are interested, you guys should go check it out on other YouTube channels. I think that smell is something that gets overlooked so often. And I'm not saying that I particularly know that much about fragrances. If you guys really think about it, you, you guys can be wearing the sickest like Issey Miyake archive, whatever floats your boat type of outfit, but if you smell atrocious no one's going to get near you or want to talk to you and that is it for today's pickup video i've been really happy with the growth i've seen on the channel so if you guys don't mind please hit the subscribe button please like the video and i'll see you guys on the next video peace